This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Final fan question this week, it's Daniel Jefferson. He said, has Kurt considered or been approached about coaching wrestling? It must be crazy just focusing on your event. Once uh, his was over, was there any other events that you wanted to see as a spectator? So let's start with the first one. Ever been uh, approached about coaching wrestling? Yes, amateur wrestling or pro yeah. wrestling. Let's I, go I've amateur. Been approached for both, but um, okay. amateur wrestling, yes. Uh, you know, I, I had a couple of colleges that wanted me to put in an application, and they guaranteed that I would, um, you know, be the coach. I just didn't want to make that commitment because I wanted to do other things in my life, like the WWE and TNA, and you know, I did some movies, and uh, so I, I didn't want to uh, put myself in a situation where I couldn't do certain things. So uh, I wasn't done with uh, the entertainment part of my life. And uh, now that I'm getting older, I'm actually considering coaching. So, uh, you know, when you, when you get older and you settle down and uh, you're semi-retired, you want to do something. And I think that coaching might be a good fit for me. Yeah, no, that's, that's good to hear. That would be excellent. You have a lot of knowledge in both spectrums, whether it's amateur or pro at this point, right? You told me, you told us the story a little while ago about, you know, Triple H maybe putting a bug in your a while, uh, several months ago about potentially helping out there too. So either one of those things, I think either amateur or pro would be blessed to have someone with your pedigree and background help out in the coaching. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. Oh, there you go. So he goes on to ask, it must be crazy focusing on your event. Okay. So was there any other events that you wanted to, to watch as a spectator? Well, with my neck and everything, I, I, I couldn't go anywhere. I, I, I was just trying to focus on uh, staying calm, uh, taking care of my neck. I had to ice it all day. And, uh, you know, I, I would train in between and, you know, or I would train and then ice in between and, uh, you know, go eat at the cafeteria. And I just had a certain game plan and a daily routine that I had to do. And I wish I could have went to some events. That would have been awesome. But I said to myself, Hey, you're going to be at a million other Olympics where you're not wrestling. You'll be there present. You'll be able to watch it. Since then, I haven't gone to one damn Olympics. So uh, eventually I'm going to get yeah. to it and I'm going to watch every damn event I can possibly watch because I love the Olympics. Yeah. Yep. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.